Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to swatch the Odyssey set. Now this is from Prima Marketing's Watercolor Confection series. As you guys know, I'm trying to collect every single one because they're just so cute and quirky and I've got problems and I have to have it if I know it's there. <laughs> um, I have yet to come across a duplicate color, so I actually think they really are doing all unique. But this was gifted to me by the wonderful Kat. Um, I had left a message in my haul, but Kat, if you can email me at colorfullyoptimistic at gmail.com, I'd love to thank you for these. Um, these were just, oh, I was blown away when I got this. So <clears throat> here is the Odyssey set. So when you open it up, you get your two palettes. Oh, well, <laughs> let me just open this up as they fly away. Okay. These do move around um, a titch. I just need to tighten these back up. So I've already um, taken all the wrappers off for you guys because that is the biggest pain. So this card here it's so weird with Prima Marketing, okay? Some of their cards have pigment information. Some of them don't. That's the one gripe I have. I have to go online and see if they share their pigment info on their website because I am, well, honestly, I want to know uh, what the pigments are. It's pretty reasonable, right? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, first I'm gonna take my Distress Ink Sprayer. Oops. Let's tighten that a little. This is not by any means a clean process. Look at that mess. Listen, if your watercolor palette is neat, you're not using it enough. <laughs> so, fun fact. All right, we're going to move that off to the side for a second. What I'm going to do real quick is prep this bad boy. I'm going to take my cheap no-name pigment liner. Pigment liner is a pigment ink that is waterproof. Never, ever, ever do this with a normal like marker. It needs to either be an alcohol marker or a pigment liner and always look for waterproof. I am going to draw a line on all of these because I want to track and test the opacity. And then as I get the other info, I'll probably like write it up there. Eventually, I'll take all these little swatches because I don't have these officially. Ooh, my desk is wet. Swatched anywhere right now. Um, and so they're just all swatched in their individual cases, and I want to fix that. So I think I'll swatch with... I like to swatch with big brushes, big juicy ones. I have a number six Transin round really cheap um I shouldn't cheap is a naughty word uh affordable watercolor brush um and then I'm using my little infamous paint puck that you guys know I'm obsessed with all right so let's hit up Tokyo oh my gosh these things are so wiggly squiggly I need to put some over here and add some water to it. There we go. See, I'm just adding some water. I don't have my media mat down, so oh my gosh. Desk, don't hate me. All right, let's see. Tokyo. Or Rome. For some reason, I thought the Odyssey set would be sea-themed. But um, instead, it's like a travel theme, which is cool, too. Well, that is... Probably opaque. It's hard to tell though. Wait till it dries. Wait till it dries. Got to reserve judgment until it dries. Amsterdam. Because a lot of watercolors will look um, very opaque until they dry. And then you're like, oh, well, hello. Some you'll see instantly, like Maui right there which by the way is a freaking gorgeous color. Hello, Jordan. Just, I've been pulling them off onto the palette just to get a little more water going. You can also use an alcohol marker. Like I have an Ohuhu black marker. 
that I just um, use for my swatching. But on these tiny swatch cards, I tend to stick to a smaller liner just so that... Let's, let me zoom you guys in. <laughs> um, I tend to stick to a... Let's see... Um, a finer liner just because otherwise that alcohol marker is one big thing there okay Dubai looks a little opaque but I have a solid feeling once that bad boy dries it's gonna be a different Jamaica let's get a good amount of water there too you can also swatch these wet on wet so if you tend to do wet on wet more wet that but I prefer when I go back and redo the swatch chart, um, you know, for my swatch book later, I will have one that's wet on wet, one that's wet on dry, because these colors are always going to look different. Um, I also plan to upgrade my watercolor book. Oops, I actually mixed that yellow. Um, I plan to upgrade my watercolor book to include salt effects, so I'll be swatching with salt. I'm not really surprised the Inca is pretty opaque. I really want to know if they have their info online about the pigments. I just want to know, like, how many of these are a mix? Obviously, there's some mixes in here, but, I mean, what pigment is that? You know, what pigment is that yellow? Want to know that Tokyo is uh, quite a true red. Okay, Calgary is white. So this is going to be by far the boringest one to look at, but let's make sure we're on camera. Oh my gosh, it's white. It's a miracle. Okay, so let's have these air dry for one sec. And actually... No, nope, my dryer is not around with me. So yeah, I'm going to let these air dry and then I will come back and show them to you once they are dry and let you know what I think. And we're back. I broke out my heat tool. I had to plug it in, but we now have dry swatches. So let me zoom you in real quick so we can talk about these. Um, Rome is not very opaque. Uh, I, you know, I could water it down, but it's, it's a, I'm sorry, not very translucent. <laughs> Get your terminology right. Cause there's a big difference. Um, so Rome is definitely more of an opaque color. Jordan is very dark and so is Budapest. Uh, the rest are all have a great opacity. Why am I transparency? You know what? You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> they're, they're nice and translucent. Um, and yeah, very pretty colors once dry. Uh, I love that they've given you a red, a blue, and a yellow. That said, I would like to know the pigment numbers. What are they? Um, but that red is, that's a good red. That's a very good red. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this set. <clears throat> um, I definitely see some mixing potential as well. I do feel it's a little brown heavy though, um, if I'm going to be honest, because we've got a brown here, 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 and then this is like a reddish brown. So I do feel they kind of overkilled on that. However, this is the reason I'm collecting all of their sets um, because I kind of want to see, you know, how many sets get what colors because obviously they need to put browns in some of their sets because if you want to collect them all and put them in one big palette and you have no brown, that would, you know, be annoying. That said, it's kind of weird that you would get one set with so many browns um especially because i think they have a woodlands set i haven't collected that one yet but i'm pretty sure they do and that's where i would expect a lot of greens and browns so i'm curious what's in that one <laughs> but i plan to once i finish collecting all the prima sets here um i plan to like pull out all the swatches and compare them and kind of put them in order and then I also need to find out the pigment info because another set I swatched today had the newer, or maybe this is the older card. I'm not sure the order of release here, but as you can see, these are a longer card. Um, you know, it folds like so, 
I get that they have them cute, like so you could tape it there, but that's your mixing plate, so that's not where you want to tape it. Um, but you just get a name and number, whereas with these, you get a name, number, pigment information, and light fast information. And I, it's a longer swatch, so you can actually really play with it. I used my thicker Ohuhu. So I have noticed there is a difference between them. Some have those, some are like this. Uh, so I'll need to look up. Obviously, they do share pigment info, and it could just be on their website, and I will look. But, yeah, this is the Odyssey set. Uh, a special thanks again to Kat for sending it to me. Um, it was, like, the most amazing timing because I was like, I'm going to collect all these sets. And then this one came, and I don't even know if she had known that was my plan yet because I think I announced that after. So... It was really sweet of her to send this, and I appreciate it so much because I adore this brand. Um, they're very artsy. They're fun. They kind of almost have like a, you know, click-like following now. <laughs> but can you blame them? They got cute curated sets. Um, obviously, one set will never be enough with these. Um, so far, I haven't seen a set where I'm like, oh, yeah, you could just use that one set permanently um these are definitely sets you're going to end up combining so down the road once i've finalized and gotten all of them i'm going to get one big um tin that'll hold them all and i'll put them all in there and you know get rid of all these little itty bitty palettes i think i don't know i'm on the fence because these little palettes are really handy and like great for on the go um one thing you may not know they even have the little thumb holder here, so you know you can hold it. Um, so yeah, I it's hard to say if I'm gonna do that or not because it would be nice to have these little palettes and say I'm just working on a picture and I wanna run out the door, I can just grab one and go play with it. So yeah, I'm on the fence with that idea. The more, I'm almost talking myself out of it now here on this little review. But yeah, these are the Odyssey colors, very pretty. I'm loving that purple. I do love that you got a lot of primary colors in here. Um, you still got a white. That green is very pretty and it can obviously be turned into something else as well. So lots of potential with this set. I'm not saying you're stuck with only these colors. All of these are incredibly mixable, um, but you've got a ton of brown. So this is definitely one where you would need to work on a project that you plan on using a lot of brown in. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, guys, if you have this set, let me know in the comments below your thoughts and whatnot. And until next time on another watercolor confections swatching fest, I will catch you guys later. Bye now.